30 with Brian Loftus, Denise Valdez, and Ted Florendo. 8 News Now, live at 6.30, live, local, now. And good evening, Ed. Welcome back. Another big week for the Vegas Golden Knights. Three straight home games here to talk about the recent home success and the return of Mark Stone. We say good evening to our hockey expert, Derek England. And boy, Derek, how fast are these weeks flying by? I got to ask you, as a player, do they fly by as fast as the fans? Uh, I don't think it goes by quite as fast. There's lulls in the middle of the season that uh, kind of drags on and on. And, um, you know, this is one of them during the season, that November up until Christmas. But uh, as a fan right now, it's flying by. It's all, you know, almost December here. And it's amazing that we're a fifth of the way through the season already. Yeah, it's 15 games in already. It's, uh, you know, it seems like the season just started. How important is it now to have uh, De uh, uh, Mark Stone back on the ice, playing with the guys, not only on the ice, but in the locker room, just a guy like that, the captain? Yeah, you, you're missing, obviously, his talent and uh, skill on the ice and what he does out there, but you're, he's a huge part in the locker room, um, a voice in the locker room, guys. Uh, you know, he's a calm presence out there. He's always uh, plays the right way, too, and uh, he's going to make everyone around him better. And then when you speak about uh, getting better, how about these young guys that are scoring their first NHL goals, three of them this past week, which was really fun to see. Yeah, it's always uh, it's an amazing accomplishment when you get that first goal. I still remember mine uh, in Pittsburgh, and uh, for those guys to get that first one, it's a, a day that they'll never forget, and uh, they'll, they'll keep those pucks uh, for the rest of their life. How, how That experience for you, how was that? It was fun. I was in Pittsburgh. I remember uh, Sidney Crosby and Chris Kunitz assisted on it. Uh, I still have the sticks. They signed their sticks uh, after the game for me and gave it to me. So I still have their sticks in the in the closet and uh, just waiting for a man cave to put them up in. <laughs> it must be amazing when you think about not only you playing in the NHL, but you're, you're scoring your first goal that you'll never, ever forget that. Yeah. It, it, like, time flies by, but it seems like yesterday, you know, you get your first goal. I remember it was against Tampa Bay. I think Mike Smith was in net, and uh, it was just a, a shot, screen in front, and went in. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't tell you any of my other goals, but I won't forget that one. Very cool. How about the uh, defenseman? You're watching the games now. Who's playing well for the Golden Knights right now? Well, you got to start. The goaltending has been phenomenal. Um, you know, I think uh, from that Toronto game, from then on, uh, they've kept the the team in the games and uh, it starts there and I think as a as a unit of five guys out on the ice they're doing a lot better uh, you know collapsing helping the goaltender out uh, clearing rebounds and, and getting the puck out of there um, they're breaking out a lot cleaner now and uh, which is less defensive zone coverage well they got three more games this week some big ones at home uh, Carolina's playing really well then Detroit and Columbus so three important games again yeah three three teams from the east it's uh, they're uh, all playing well um, they played Detroit not too long ago so they know what they're about but uh, Carolina 11 and 2 I believe right now so uh, it's going to be a big test for them tomorrow night. All right once again uh, per Derek thank you very much for dropping in again perfect weather for hockey here in the desert and for a look at your forecast here's Ted. Hey,